In this extreme Nippon analytical geometry problem, we've got this cool function, shown by this purple curve on the coordinate plane. And this blue right triangle is crammed under the curve like this, creating this weird shape with an area of 32 over 3. And we are asked to find the area of this little green region down here. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. We are dealing with areas under a function curve. And to calculate the areas under a function curve, we need to find the function's integral. An integral is basically a secondary function that lets us find the area under the line representing the primary function, such as this area. And this is the rule we will use to find the integral of our function. Now, this here is the integral sign. And this dx tells that we are finding the integral with respect to x. And what we do is basically we add 1 to the exponent of x and then divide it all by the exponent plus 1. And we are going to do that for each term in this function, starting with this. Now, this is x to the power of 1. So we make it x to the power of 2 by adding 1 to the exponent. Then we divide it by 2. Of course, we also need to keep the original coefficient. And this whole thing equals 3 times x squared. Let's now do the other term. This is x to the power of 2. So it becomes x to the power of 3. We divide it by 3. And we put this minus sign here, because it is there in the original function. Here, our integral is ready. But before we use it, I want to find this triangle's area. Now, let's say this distance is a. Then the coordinates of this point will be a0. And let's call this distance b. Then the coordinates of this point will be a, b. And the area of this right triangle will be a times b over 2. Let's write that down as an equation. Now, we should be able to compute this b in terms of a, because this point a, b is on the function curve, and we can put a and b into this function to get the value of b in terms of a like this. So let's change this b to that, and after doing some math, we get this cool equation, which I will tuck away down here. And now it is time to find this yellow region's area using the integral. To do that, we need to find its starting point and its end point on the x-axis. Alright, the x value of the starting point is obviously 0. And the x value of the end point is a. Now, let's use the integral. And first, we write down what we are calculating. It's the integral from 0 to a. We'll start with a. That means we replace these x's with a. And this is what we get. We put this minus sign here before going back to the integral. And this time, we replace the x's with 0. And the result is 0. And minus 0 is basically nothing. So we are left with this equation, which is great because we now have an equation for the area of the yellow region. And the yellow region actually consists of two components. The first component is this right triangle. And we know its area is this. So let's move this over here. And the second component is this weird shape that has an area of 32 over 3. So we can put 32 over 3 here. We have created another equation. And it tells us the yellow area equals this expression. So we can go ahead and replace this yellow area over here with that expression. We've got this brand new equation. And let me do the math for you. And it turns out A is 4. Now we can start working on the green area using the integral. To do that, we need to ascertain its start and end values on the x-axis. And we know the start value is 4. Because we've just found a equals 4. And for now, we'll call the end value z. Which means this point's coordinates are z0. And it is clear that the point is on the purple curve. So we can take these coordinates and put them into this function. Which gives us this equation. And factorizing it like this, we figure out that z is either 0 or 6. And zero value for z takes us to this other point, where the curve crosses the x-axis. 
And we're not interested in this point right now. So we are left with 6. And we can go ahead and replace these with that number. Now we have the start and end values for the green region. And it is time to put those values into this integral. We are calculating the integral from 4 to 6, which equals the area of the green region. First, we'll substitute 6 for the axis in this integral. And we get this. We put this minus sign here and next we put 4 into the integral. And this is what we get. And what follows is pure arithmetic, which I am doing for you. And there we are. 28 over 3 is the area of the green region. So that's it, people. We found the area of the green region and it's 28 over 3. This is the first time I use integral in one of my tutorial videos and I really want to know what you think. So feel free to tell in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you push the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.